yeah and i love that you guys start out in the in the early days of rocketry um that was actually probably like uh one of my uh, favorite parts of the game because like everybody's trying to like get to orbit and you're trying to piece uh rockets together to be the first one to um uh, you know, have a satellite in orbit, uh, then a then a person, then multi people. Um, I always lost each one, but <laughs> uh, I think the European Space Agency always won me, uh, beat me out. Yeah, the the what was interesting about that is again going back to this thing of authenticity. And for us, the authenticity was the big thing we were trying to get across to this, and something you know we've been lucky enough to work with space agencies that have helped with this a lot. Um, and that was the. You know, in the early days of the rocket, uh, the, the kind of race to space, loads went wrong. They'd fail all the time. And talking to you know engineers at um, like the European Space Agency and things like that, we talked. I talked with them a lot about failure. And you know, failure is the big driver of success, weirdly, in the space industry. So so many times when something goes wrong, they pick apart to figure out why it failed. And in in figuring out like that, they come back and they build something that then succeeds uh, and it succeeds because it's better than the thing they made before they, they de tend not to well this rocket didn't succeed or this you know this probe didn't land so we'll just try it again and see if it works of course they don't they figure out why not and so the the failure loops quite important I think that's slightly different from a lot of the other games where the sense is I should just I should just be able to win like you know if you're doing a you know a, a platformer you know if you're dexterous and skilled why can't you just blast through the first level and often games make that first couple of levels quite easy to kind of get you in the flow nothing wrong with that it's a good you know general ethos in game design but we wanted to be authentic to it so to be authentic to the early days of of space exploration is basically to fail a lot but that failure builds the you know the experience that allows you to later on succeed and of course that's one of you know if there was the big loop that I would say Mars Horizon explores is the balance between risk and reward it's you know do you go out on a limb you might be the first to do that thing but your chances of succeeding are lower or do you build better systems more infrastructure you know more which essentially gives you you know fail safes and abilities to kind of resist problems and stuff like that but it takes longer and it's more expensive and that that is the history of space exploration is that balance between risk reward and the early days of the space exploration there was a lot more risk and and now there's less so but you know we we you know never forget if you look in the history of it it's deeply dangerous I, one of the the yeah exo mars engineers said to me you know he said uh, when we did uh, interviews with them at um the mission control center in 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 Darmstadt in germany and he was saying space doesn't want us to be there. It's a very unforgiving environment. Anything goes wrong up there, you're dead. So, you know, we always have to bear that in mind when we're building things. And so we wanted to get across some of that loop of of failure and risk and reward in the game. Wow.